To a downtown crowd of an estimated 8,000, the UP 200 sled dog race was off and running. One of the most prestigious such events in the country and a qualifying race for the famed Iditarod in Alaska. The UP 200 races across Michigan's rugged Upper Peninsula, roughly following the Lake Superior shoreline to and from the tiny town of Grand Marais for a distance of nearly 240 miles. Teams come from Alaska, Montana, Minnesota, Maine, and other points in between. And while the UP 200 is the big daddy of the weekend, two other shorter races have major followings as well. Uh, I have had sled dogs for uh, going on 21 years. 21 years? Yeah. Now, uh, what is it like out there when you're, when you're running through this weather? And... Um, it's quiet. And it's fun, you do, which you don't. If you go to the start and you'll hear all the noise and the barking, they quit as soon as they start running. It's just quiet and you can hear them breathing and working. It's just fun. The dogs are carefully checked by veterinarians before competing, and each animal is given a clean bill of health before putting on the harness and the booties to protect against the snow and the ice. Sled dog racing up here is a way of life for many. To experience it, we were invited to the Snowy Plains Cattle in nearby Gwynn, where the husband and wife team of Jim and Jackie Winkowski have been raising, training, and racing sled dogs for more than 20 years. They currently have 28 dogs. Just the fun with the animals. And if you love animals and you love, you love pets, these are all our pets, we just have a ball with them. They love to run, and we like we love them much. Just a really close relationship because they're all they're your colleagues and it's like they're your kids and they're your friends. It's a wonderful relationship. What's it like? I sat in the sled so I could run the camera. Jim mushed. We moved out. The experience is exhilarating beyond words. I was flabbergasted by how fast the dogs moved. It was the bumpy and an often jarring ride in a beautiful snow-covered woods. And the dogs, the dogs are magnificent, pulling in unison, geeing and hawing as the trail twists and turns. It's easy to see why mushers do this, training four and five times a week with their dogs, running 25 to 30 mile routes. It's hard to tell who likes it the most, the mushers or the dogs. Road trekking across North America, I'm Mike Wendland from Marquette, Michigan. Thanks for watching.